Hey there everybody, what up? It's your favorite Asian robot and today I'm going to show you one of my OP sword builds. It may not look it at first, but this thing has incredible survival, <clears throat> incredible damage, and it's really fun to play. But it's expensive. It will take you at least four weeks to save up enough steel tokens to get the full thing. Two weeks for discipline, two weeks for um, avenging overdrive, because you're going to need both to really make this work. Okay, so it's about, it's literally a month of waiting and doing the normal trials to get this built. Now, <clears throat> how do you construct it? Okay, and I say again, this may not look strong at first, but play it and you'll see the power for yourself. Straight up. <clears throat> Have a look. Cyclonic Fury from the uh, Malkyrion, that'll be, that'll be your first thing, okay? Pulsor, pulse Cell, Recycle Cell. Special is Avenging Overdrive. The mod is either Recursive Hilt, or you can go for Mending Blade Core. <laughs> now, if you don't, if you feel that you don't have enough survival, you feel that it's a struggle to survive, take Mending Blade Core. If you feel confident in yourself, and of course I'll be showing this version, take Recursive Hilt. <clears throat> Bond will be Savate's Cutlass, because it deals insane damage. As well as having Pulse, which will boost your overall crit damage. Very useful. Discipline will be Omni Cell of Choice. Koshai's Bloom with an Energized Cell <clears throat> will be your Lantern. But you can only heal every 30 seconds. So keep that in mind. Because that's how long the Lantern cooldown is. You have no other sustain in this build. So if you are not confident, pick Mending Blade Core. Okay? Sight of Stone with a Toughness Cell. Thrax of Shadow with a Cutting Cell. Malkyrion's Grasp with a Predator Cell. And Volcanic Treads with a Tenacious Cell. What will this build give you overall? Okay, let's take a look. In terms of raw damage, you've got Predator for 35%. Tenacious for 2% for every 100 current hit points. But with this build, Toughness gives you 500 you get 100 from your Slayer's Path, and you have 1,000 baseline. You're not using Berserker here, so you have 1,600 hit points. That means you have 32% damage bonus from Tenacious. Total damage so far is 67%. Can you get a similar value? Yes, with a full Adrenaline build, and that avoids using Predator. It is, again, possible to do that, but um, that is not what will be featured here, because this build is about just straight up slapping okay you've also got recycle for up to 30 percent extra raw damage final total 97 percent okay which brings you close to double damage if you have everything triggered and recycle is very easy to use okay in terms of your crits you've got cunning and pulse adding up to 45 percent critical strike damage okay you've got 18 percent critical strike chance base because of cunning 10 percent eight percent from discipline Total critical strike chance is going to go to 20% because you get 2% extra from your Slayer's Path as well. Alright? This means that no matter what, because Pulse is a guaranteed hit, a guaranteed critical on every fifth hit, all other hits will just have a 20% chance of being a critical. And the total multiplier that you get for your critical damage, baseline 1.5, add 0 0.45, which is 45% from Cunning and Pulse, okay? 1.95 multiplier, add 8, 0.08, 8%, all right, from discipline. Your total multiplier is 2.03. So crits will double your double damage, quad damage, okay? See how all that works? All right. Now, the theory is great. You're going to want to see the practical because there is no point in me saying, this build is great, and then I can't show you shit. And of course, we will do it without without any escalation bonuses. As you guys might know from my other proof video, escalation bonuses give you about five levels of an advantage. They are not the true numbers of your build. You could take any build, go into an escalation, and it's going to look a lot stronger. Okay? I can literally do an escalation with a trash tier build, assuming I'm level 18 or so, simply because the escalation bonuses themselves can literally carry. It's not difficult. Really, it's not. 
So that's why we use the hunting grounds, because this gives you the most honest picture of your kill time without any other outside factors. Only the build. Now, what I'm also going to say is that when it comes to utilizing builds like this, you have to be very aware of one thing. Okay, this is a discipline and avenging overdrive build. You need to have your timings down. You need to have your counters ready. Let's fight the Nasher, <clears throat> since it's the closest creature. Okay, with Malkyrion's Legendary, if you draw your weapon, <clears throat> you can teleport over 100 meters. If you don't, you can only teleport 75. Let your Sivate bonus do its work. And if you're using the Recursive Hilt version, make sure you continuously dash in, alright? And trigger Discipline whenever you can. Why? It is so crucial that you do, and dodge attacks of course, because that is how your Sivate bonus works. Okay, if you take a hit, there you go. Avenging Overdrive can help you. If you've taken damage, sure you're gonna lose your Predator bonus, but look at how easy it is to steal back health. It's genuinely not a difficult task, alright? So just understand that this build is designed for plenty of damage, but you are going to give up a couple of things. Chief among those things you are giving up is the fact that this build does not come with Assassin's Frenzy or Recycle. Alright, so you are giving up a bit of that. Uh, sorry, it doesn't come with Assassin's Frenzy or Reuse. So you are giving up a bit of attack speed with this one. However, that doesn't mean it is weak. It is in fact very strong and gives you plenty of options. Alright, like I said, worst case scenario, all you gotta do is lifesteal, but this is where you can get caught out, alright? If you don't, if you don't have enough, um, if you don't have your Koshai's up at the right time, you will not be able to lifesteal your health back, alright? Which can, of course, lead you to a dangerous situation. So... Your Koshai, as I mentioned in the start of the build, is 30 seconds. You're going to have to be very careful with that. And if you lose too much health, you lose your Tenacious bonus. So this is a build design. It is strong, but it is a build design for players that already know what they are doing. Please be very careful when, you, when using it, okay? All right. Now... If you play this properly, though, you can always, always counter your enemies. Now, the only downside is that when they're dashing in, they may take a while, unfortunately. But Avenging Overdrive gives you a lot of options. Because you can literally... And, of course, the fact that it's a Malkyrion weapon with the lightning element means that you can stun randomly, which is great. Okay, Discipline means that you don't have your Avenging Overdrive, that's okay, punch the Behemoth in the face. You can literally counter anything and combo pretty much endlessly with this one. Which is exactly what I love about it. See? It's so easy. What is the Behemoth gonna do to you? Nothing. And if you play properly... Alright, you can literally, like I said, combo endlessly. One of the great strengths of this build is the simple fact that because you've got so much power chucked up in there and so much survival even if you make a mistake it's great for you to learn and there something five levels above us is instantly dead all right we did that in roughly three minutes not too hard okay <clears throat> you can do the same in almost any situation and of course some of my haters will say oh, he doesn't test in blazeworks all of these builds will work just fine in blazeworks take them in yourself and see but please do it when you're level 18 or 19 okay and please do understand that the Blazeworks Behemoths will always be over-leveled. So, in order to gain the best XP, do you know what to do? If you don't, well, maybe someday I'll show you. Alright. As you can see, and I've demonstrated already, this build is just absolutely easy to run. Even if I lose Predator, no problem. I'm still in full control of the situation. It's that easy. Take a hit. I shouldn't, but eh, doesn't matter. 
There you go. Discipline. Now, ideally, this would be a lot better if I had um, Assassin's Frenzy in there, but uh, in order to reach the best possible DPS for this build, it did not work well with Assassin's Frenzy and Reuse, so that is unfortunate, but that is the case. One of the reasons why I chose Energize for this is because it's just too crucial to be able to charge a sword up really fast, and there you go. That's it. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it has been informative. And I hope it has shown you exactly how to play an OP sword build. Have fun with this. Have fun with this. And go ahead and destroy behemoths above your level. Alright? Ideally, three levels above you, they're gonna, you're going to smoke them in under a minute. Okay? Catch you on the next one, folks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh! And if you'd like, support me via the tip link in the description of the video. And I will see you later. Okay? Sarangayo. Bye-bye.